It's time for the Drugless Doctor. Call our friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and life-changing program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Dr. Kaysen D. Maria. I'd like to welcome you once again to another episode of The Drugless Doctor. And tonight, I know so many of you are always wondering, I don't use salt. The practice members come in and say, we haven't used salt for years. Well, I want you to know something. Salt's important. Minerals are important. And our goal tonight is to give you revelation knowledge and why you should be using some type of mineral every day of your life. Dr. Anthony. Well, one of the things that's important is we are all chiropractors and we work with the nervous system and how the messages are sent from the brain to the rest of the body so that the body can heal itself on the inside and have optimal function. So just like Dr. Bob was mentioning, we have many practice members that'll come in and say that they haven't used salt for years, but salt is really important. And some of the items that we're gonna be discussing with you this evening are gonna clue you in on why you should be consuming salt. So I wanna go over just a little bit of history with each and every one of you. Salt has been around for forever all the way back into ancient times. And, and for a lot of people, it was a highly traded commodity over time. Even locations around the planet in which people settled in, a lot of it had to do with salt. Even all the way back to the Roman army, Roman soldiers were paid with salt. And the word that they had for it is how we ended up getting our modern day term for the word salary. So what has been interesting is a part of modernization, salt became refined. So we're going to be talking about refined salt and unrefined salt. So I'm going to take a brief moment to describe to you what the difference is between both of them. Unrefined salt is salt that you're going to find in nature or its natural setting. And it's full of all sorts of different minerals that are in the earth and some of them are what your body needs. Refined salt has been chemically altered to just have two elements, sodium and chloride, but it's also been tampered, like I said, with those chemicals and a lot of those chemicals are still with that sodium chloride and it's essentially dead or non-living nutrient like it would be to have unrefined salt. So unrefined salt is something that's gonna be quite important for you to be consuming on a regular basis because of the mineral content that is in it. And we're gonna be discussing why it's important for different type of body functions over time. But one of the questions we get quite often is what type of salt should I be using? What type of sea salt should I be using? It's such a common question. How about you shed some light on that for us, Dr. Kaysen? So commonly members come into our office and they might have um, sea salt or pink salt or black salt or Himalayan salt and they want to know is this okay to take and will this affect my blood pressure. Now from our experience we use a product in our office and we use Celtic sea salt and this Celtic sea salt from the um, North Atlantic Ocean this is really pure. So you wanna look at where it's coming from and also the unrefined is very important for minerals in our body. Now, Dr. Anthony was talking about refined versus unrefined salt. The salt that we're putting into our bodies has um, a potential of altering our pH. So being able to take this unrefined salt that we use helps with our pH because we want our pH to be more um, in the center. You don't want it to be more acidic or more alkaline because if it's more acidic, which is vinegar or alkaline, which is more of your baking soda, you have a tendency to have um, health challenges. So whether this is fibromyalgia, cancer, if you don't have that normal pH, you have a, an ability to not be healing at 100%. And Dr. Bob, you want to talk about things that we see, well, we have actually have a, a pH test in our office that we're able to see exactly what your pH is and, and be able to help that. Well, I think what's very interesting is that when people are under stress, what happens to them is their body tends to go into an acid state. And what's really wonderful about using the minerals that we use, like Celtic sea salt, we help normalize physiology. I know so many of you watching me right now 
are really proud of the fact that you are on a low salt diet. When somebody comes in and starts conversing with me and they say that, hey, you know, I'm on a low salt diet, I haven't had salt in a long time, I know that they could have some challenges, including maybe high blood pressure. You can say high blood pressure because of a low salt diet. Yes, because it alters physiology. It could affect your B vitamins. I know that your body needs minerals, and there's a gland in your body that we'll discuss in great detail the, called the adrenal gland. And the adrenal gland has everything about moving um, minerals in and out of your body. So if you crave salt, that's a, it's not a bad thing, but if you crave salt, it's a body signal to us that your adrenal glands might not be functioning properly. I just want to take a brief moment and talk to you about what does salt do? What, do, what does Celtic sea salt and these other minerals do in your body? I want you to think of salt as a spark plug. So minerals act as spark plugs in your body. In a car, a car engine, there are pistons. So this is an example of a piston that's used in a vehicle that's a part of the motor that allows your wheels to go forward or backwards. Well, the spark plug is the mineral that creates the fire, that creates the power for the engine to move properly. So if you're on a low salt diet, you could be tired and sluggish. You might not feel good. And it could be to the fact that you don't have enough minerals in your body, which means you don't have enough spark plugs in your body. And the gentlemen know that you go in for tune-ups for your vehicle, well, your body's no different. Dr. Anthony. You know, I think that that's, you went over some important facts because there's a lot of people that have bought into the low salt diet over time now. One of the reasons why that is something that you might want to be aware of is foods that come in packages a lot of times are preserved with sodium. So sodium is the elemental symbol Na. So it's important when consuming foods that you do as best as you can not to get foods that come in packages because they're not going to have preservatives if you're getting fresh vegetables and proteins that you're going to be eating on a regular basis. So sodium you would want to be aware in packaged foods because that will elevate your sodium and that could raise your blood pressure. What is super important is the studies that are out there is people that are on a low salt diet really might only have a reduction in blood pressure by about 5%, but these people also have a higher chance of cancer and other types of challenges. Now, salt is just really important because it's giving your body uh, electrolytes or better conduction of messages so that the body can do healing like it's supposed to on the inside. I've, I've worked with numerous amount of practice members over time that came in and were not utilizing salt. And after having some simple conversations and reading a little bit of research, they decided to uh, incorporate Celtic sea salt in their life and they really saw benefits. Now, I get this question quite a bit is, how much Celtic sea salt should I be using or where should I be using it? Anytime you eat a meal, you can use Celtic sea salt liberally on your meal. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm talking, you can use it shaken, you can use it when you're cooking, you can throw some shakes on there. I'd also encourage you to even put it in your water. Yes, I want you to put it in your water because what ends up happening is most uh, Americans are dehydrated and they're not getting enough water and the amount of water that you should be getting is about half your body weight in ounces of water. If you're drinking water, your body needs minerals. So if you're not getting a good source of minerals like Celtic sea salt, you could have other challenges. So a good rule of thumb is you would want a minimum of a quarter of a teaspoon per quart of water that you're consuming every day to be able to get that mineral balance in your body when utilizing water. Because if you think about it, if your body doesn't have minerals and you're consuming the water that you should be, you could be diluting some of the other properties that are going there within your body. So salt is really, really important. Another area that I'd like to talk with you about is some of the cellular activity that takes place in your body as a result of sodium, magnesium, potassium. These are all different types of minerals and elements that we have in our body, but that's how our cells and our nerves actually work. So our brain sits in our skull, 
it continues as the spinal cord. Off the spinal cord comes nerves. Those messages are getting sent from the brain through the spinal cord to the nerves to muscles, organs, and tissues in your body. It is able to do that conduction because of sodium and other types of minerals like calcium, magnesium, and potassium. So naturally, if you don't have enough sodium or minerals in your body, your brain's not able to talk to your body like it should be. You're not going to have the healing like you would on the inside. So it's really important as chiropractors that someone would be utilizing Celtic sea salt because of how we work with the nervous system. If you don't have sodium in your body, you're not going to be able to have proper messages. I think that that's, that's quite a large concept to talk about. What do you have for me there, Dr. Kaysen? And I know you were talking about low salt diets may only decrease your blood pressure by five points. And as chiropractors, with our specific adjustments that we do, chiropractic is able to lower your blood pressure by 17 points. That's huge. When Dr. Anthony was talking about the brain and the nervous system, if you have any kind of misalignment or subluxation in your neck or your lower back, these nerves can go to your heart, your lungs, your adrenal glands. And commonly what we find with our members, if you're on a low salt diet, you have, could have a greater chance of having extra stimulation to the adrenal glands, which stimulates to produce that cortisol, which causes your sympathetic nervous system, which is your flight or fight um, response. So if you're getting chased by a tiger, your heart's in increasing, you're breathing heavy, you're in that stress response, you could also be um, being compromised by that subluxation in your spine. So by those specific adjustments, we're able to improve function naturally. And then by working with the Celtic sea salt, we're able also to balance those minerals in your body. Dr. Bob, what do you think? I think this video is <laughs> going to go viral once it's on the <laughs> internet. We have a lot of information still to give to you. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. I'm a chiropractor because my, my goal, my passion is to help people get better without medication. There's different types of chiropractic. I wanted to be involved in something that was bigger than myself. Here I would say it's been so much more than just seeing those lives transform, it's been being able to be a part of their transformation. Wellness is a state of mental, social, and physical well-being. Really wellness is from the inside out being able to have your body make the decisions on its own, naturally, without drugs, medications, or, or surgeries. We work and strive at addressing each one of those different facets of wellness so that it's really a, a well-rounded overall approach for an individual. I think the atmosphere is really very welcoming. I think all three really work well together as a team. It's, it's much more than you would find somewhere else. The individuality of it, uh, the recommendations, the doctor's expertise. We do not use a cookie cutter plan. Every person that comes into our office is very unique and they have specific plans and treatment protocols specific for their findings. Utilizing our innovative tools and technology, we're able to get the best results and faster and it's really easy on, on the practice member, specifically with the thermal scans that we do by measuring the ambient skin temperature. We're able to measure from each assessment how the pattern's changing. We offer digital video fluoroscopy, motion films of a person's spine, getting right to the root cause. From someone that was previously diagnosed with ADHD and was having developmental delays in speech, working with them here and seeing the transformation of them developmentally, other things, attention span, energy, colic, all these things that are improving over a period of time. So whether it's a little baby that's getting adjusted for the first time or a mom that's getting adjusted or an athlete, it's really cool to see what we're able to do and 
how that can impact their life for the long term. The two things, chiropractic care and nutrition go hand in hand and you really need both components. You can't just say, I'll do whatever I want nutritionally and then just have chiropractic care and Dr. Bob will just fix me. Really, you have to have both going together. In our wellness store, we offer a variety of different products. They're all professional lines and products that are tried and true. We have many different types of evaluations and assessments that can tell us what supplement is gonna be best for one of our practice members here in the office so that we're just not throwing the dice when it comes to their health. The Drug List Doctors is very forward thinking. It's a lot different than anything else that I had ever seen before. So I felt like I was learning something new. We have information on social media, our website, our blog. We do TV programs. So we're always putting out good quality information because more often than not I hear from somebody, I never knew that. Or I got that information from a magazine or a TV program and I never really knew that that wasn't correct. So being able to give them simple tools and natural principles that they can be able to empower themselves to make every day. That's really, it, it, it's really exciting for me to be able to see people in their changed lifestyles. Come and join us and participate with natural drugless chiropractic care. Hello, this is Dr. Bob, Dr. Anthony, and Casey and Dee Maria. I'd like to welcome you back once again to The Drugless Doctor. In the first segment, we've been talking about sodium and salt and Celtic sea salt, and we want to continue that thought pattern right now. We happen to use the Celtic sea salt that comes from Selena Naturally. It's a wonderful product. We have it available in our practice, and also you can go online. I use it every day. Two thoughts I want to pass to you right now, because we see a variety of individuals in our practice, and Dr. Anthony and Dr. Kaysen have done extensive postgraduate studies in chiropractic pediatrics. That means we help a lot of kids. And just one of our little remedies that we use, besides, of course, a spinal adjustment, is that the Celtic sea salt can help calm digestive distress. That's really important, someone watching right now, that'll make an impact. And another thought is we have so many people that come into our, our lives today that have low blood pressure, and you have fainting cells. Our spells. We've had people come into the practice that we've actually taken some of the Celtic sea salt and had them put it on their hand and lick it in their tongue. And I am saying, like, miraculously, they just see their body come back alive again because of the minerals. Now, there's more information about what we're discussing on our website, which is www.druglessdoctors, that's drs.com. Go to blog, print it out, go back and review the notes. I know it'll make a huge difference for you. Dr. Anthony. One of the areas that's also important when we are using Celtic sea salt is how it can help your body naturally detox. Now, I want to talk uh, briefly about something called a shower dechlorinator. This is important for your personal detox journey. Every day when you are in the shower, you are being exposed to the gases that are being released from city water. What do you mean, Dr. Anthony, there's gases in city water? Well, what ends up happening is when the steam comes off of the shower, it's releasing chlorine gas and other additives that are inside of the water, even some fluoride that's in there, and that can also uh, create aluminum uh, toxicities in your body. But what the shower dechlorinator does is it helps take out some of that chlorine and other substances from city water so that you're not being exposed uh, to those types of things. Now, the shower, de shower dechlorinator is really good and I personally use it. There is a way that you can backwash it so that the filter actually lasts for between two and three years. So it's something that each and every person that's watching us on TV right now would definitely benefit and have their health benefit from utilizing the shower dechlorinator. I know from personal use, when I'm in a shower that doesn't have the shower dechlorinator, my body senses and feels the difference um, from the shower dechlorinator. Another area when talking about that too, is I know that many of you like to exercise or you should be exercising and after vigorous exer exercise, you might get some sweat that comes to the corner of your lips and you taste salt and that's really important because the average, average adult has about 250 grams 
of salt in their body. You say, well, that's a lot of salt there. Dr. Anthony said it is because of everything that we were discussing before the break. Salt is used to allow your nerves and other cells in your body to communicate. So even babies have a large amount of salt. Newborn babies have a minimum of 14 grams of salt inside of their body. And that is a large amount of salt, but it's such an important mineral for our body. How many of you that are watching this right now, the light bulb's starting to go on a little bit more that you might not have the life that you wanna have because you're not consuming salt because you've been doing a restricted sodium diet, but it's really at the root of what you need to be supplying there for your body. So there's so many other factors that salt is important, and I'm glad that we're able to discuss a, a few of those key features with each and every one of you here this evening. Now, if you're watching this program right now, I want you to go to our website. If you go to www.druglessdrs.com forward slash blog, and you look at the salt outline, you will be able to go follow along with us and go back and rewatch it. But this is really, really important to all of us. So whether you're a woman, a, a child, an athlete, maybe you're someone that you're having um, higher blood pressure or inability to lose weight, it could be because you're on this low sodium diet and you may not be having the right minerals in your body. Now something also that we see, Dr. Bob was previously talking about fainting, but also dizziness with women from a sit to a stand position, bright lights bothering your eyes, these could all be indications of adrenal stress. And you want to make sure that you're supplementing accordingly with this unrefined salt to help with your metabolism. Also what we see with athletes, if you're doing vigorous activity and you're sweating a lot, you might be having these electrolyte drinks or power drinks, which have sugars and other added preservatives and chemicals in them. Something that I may suggest to you is put some Celtic sea salt in your water bottle when you're going to work out, and this helps to replenish your body and it's a natural mineral water and you're not getting all those added chemicals. We also have another recipe that we utilize in our practice for specifically for athletes and you can add some amino acids. We use something called aqueous multi plus, which is a liquid multiple that you can also put into your water, which is great for kids if they're at sports events that you can make and not be adding those chemicals into them. Dr. Bob. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do is that a sports form will be on our website at druglessdoctor.com forward slash blog. And you could watch and create that because we don't promote those sports drinks because they definitely have a lot of additives that will create distress. The shower dechlorinator looks like this and there's a backwash instrument like Dr. Anthony said, so this can last for years and it's very cost effective so you don't have to keep on buying new filters over and over and over again. What we have noticed is, is that sugar takes minerals out of the body. And I know that right now that all of you are consuming about 28 teaspoons of sugar every day. So if you're consuming that much sugar, you need to have a mineral to balance that out. And we've been talking about high blood pressure and adrenal fatigue. And what's very interesting is that once these adrenal glands get going really fast, like Dr. Casey was talking about with the fight and the flight, what happens is, is that you have a release of um, adrenal hormones. And then maybe some of you are on, on beta blockers, or maybe some of you are on a quote unquote water pill, which is a diuretic, which is hydrochlorothiazide. We've had individuals come into office with their hands being gnarled and shoulder pain and back pain and leg pain. Those are some of the bad effects of those body signals from those blood pressure medications. What we have discovered and we've learned over time, if you on a regular basis, which I know that probably 50% of your meals are outside of the home, continue to eat at franchise restaurants that have high sodium content you're going to have distress and dysfunction on your body. So if we bring this wagon train on home a little bit for you, what I would like you to slow down and think about is start wisely creating your own food at home. And by doing